guys remember where we talk about our parallel lines? Cheryl? Cheryl? You gotta write this down, right? Right? All right. So, triangle proportionality theorem. What that states is if we have a triangle, let's just call it A, B, C. All right? If we have a triangle, better known as a triangle, and we have a parallel line that is a cut across it. Remember, we've seen those type of triangles, right? You guys started seeing these and they started like confusing you. So you have an angle, all right, or another line that's in your triangle and it is parallel to one of the sides, all right? So this is what we call the triangle proportionality theorem. If it is parallel to one of your sides, then these two lengths, D and E, are now going to allow us to create some proportions. And the proportions that we're going to have is BD is to DC, which is equal to BE, which is to EA. All right, so those proportions are equivalent. So this length is proportionate to that length, as that length is proportionate to that length. OK? So when you guys see triangles and you see parallel lines, Start thinking about that as far as how you can write a proportion. Because if you can write a proportion, you can solve for variables. Right, Justice? Right? And that's a lot of times what math class we like to do, is solve for